Let's continue making some improvements to our site's layout. So what I'm going to do is focus on the nav bar for a second here. Okay, so we've got this site logo or site title up here on the left, but let's improve that a little bit. So something we could do is we could go over here and go to Nitrous, go to your app folder, and then find that views folder, and then go over to the layouts so that we go back to where we have our nav bar code, okay? And let's improve this a little bit. For the, first of all, let's go ahead and change the name. We'll change it to what we were deciding to call the site, which is DevMatch. Okay, you could come up with whatever name that you want, but I'm gonna go with DevMatch, okay? So I'm gonna save that, and then if I refresh here, there we go, the site name has changed over here. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and change the site title as well. So we'll change that up here at the top. So we'll save that. And there we go. Now, if you look up here at the top of our browser window, we've got a new title as well. Now, we can improve this a little bit more by using something called Font Awesome. Okay, so there's a special font library that's out there on the web, and you can look it up just by searching for Font Awesome. And here we go. When we click on this link right here, you'll see their main home page, okay? And right now, the version number that they're on is version 4.2.0. So just like we added Bootstrap, we can add this extra library of fonts here. Now, I only recommend that you add this if you're going to use these fonts quite a bit. You don't want to get into the habit of adding too many libraries and things if you're not going to use them. It's going to weigh your site down and make it a lot more heavy uh, for no reason. So let's go ahead and add Font Awesome since we're probably going to use this a little bit in our site. So the way we can do that is there's a gem out there that we can use, and it's similar to that bootstrap gem that we added. So let's look for it. It's called Font Awesome, and we'll just say gem. And we look here in Google, and we've got a gem right here. Okay, so if we click on this and we read about it a little bit, we can see how to install it. So what I'm going to do is install it by copying this line and the version number might be different for you but again just like we did with bootstrap I want you to copy the version number that I've got here on my screen so that's 4.2.0 so I'm just gonna copy this and go over to the gem file so in my application directory I scroll down here's the gem file and I'm gonna add it right here under this bootstrap library okay so Above it, I'm going to add a comment. So remember, comments don't get processed in Ruby. And we're just going to say, use font awesome library for icons. And we'll save that. And remember, again, you want to have 4.2.0 here as your version number. And let's just reorganize this a little bit so that this document here, this gem file, is kind of just better organized. So I'm going to cut all of that out. And I'm just going to move it down below over here. Okay, so all I've done is reorganized it. Make sure you're not missing a single piece of code that we have here while you're doing this. Okay, so I'm scrolling down to show you everything I've got here. But if you look here, this is what I've done. I've just kind of reorganized some of the lines of code by copying and pasting. And so your document should look like this. And I'll maximize this just so that you can see. And you can pause the screen if you need to. Just make sure yours looks consistent to this. This is the upper part of the page. And I'm going to scroll down. There's the bottom part. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and save this file now and go back here. And what I'm going to do is we have our server running on a console tab here. I'm going to close it by hitting Control-C. So no server is running. If I were to go back here, you'll see there's no server running. Now, what I'm going to do is to install this font awesome gem, we have to do the same command we're used to now, bundle install. And that's going to reach into the web and download all of the dependencies that we need to install font awesome. So once that's done, you'll get this green confirmation down here. And then what we're going to do is go back here and keep reading their documentation. We just did the bundle install. Now, just like we did with Bootstrap, we're going to import Font Awesome. So I'm just going to copy this over here. And then what I'm going to do is head over to 
that file where we added those import clauses. So if I go to assets and then under style sheets here, we've got this application.css.scss. And I'm just gonna add font awesome right under here, just like that. So I'm gonna save all of that. So make sure you've done that properly. And so now we've added the font awesome gem and we've imported it into our website. So now we can use font awesome freely. And this is how you use font awesome. So what we can do is we can add something like this at our site kind of name over here, right under this button, just above where I added this dev match where the site name was. Okay. We're going to do right here. You can do this I tag. This is a special tag that you can use for font. Awesome. And again, you can read their website to read more about them and how they work. And there's a link here on their website called the cheat sheet. Okay, so if I click on that link, you can see all of the fonts that we can use. And I'm gonna show you how to use a particular font. So let's go ahead and just find a font that we like here. I'm gonna go with this one for users. And then I'm gonna go back over to Nitrous, and this is how we use it. We just say class equals, and we paste that in, FA users. And you also need to prepend another FA right there, just in the class name. There needs to be that space there. Okay, and then we close that with a closing tag. Now if I save that, and just to verify I did that right, you can see their examples right here. Okay, so if I save all of that right here, now when I go back to our website, well, we need to first turn on our server. So I'm gonna go back to this console tab. Either one will do, as long as you are in your application directory. Okay, and we're gonna do bundle execute rails s. Okay, so now that I'm running that server, I'm gonna go back to the tab that I had open and I'm gonna hit refresh. And if you need to open a new tab, all you can do is just go over here and hit preview and port 3000. So I've got this and there we go. We've now got this icon sitting over here, but we need to style it a little bit. It needs to be organized properly. So we can do that pretty easily by copying this same class here, okay? So this is a bootstrap class that we added. We didn't talk about this too much, but it's another bootstrap class that we added when we added the navigation bar. And if I add that right here, I can save it, go back and refresh and see what it looks like. That looks a little bit better, but now we can do a little bit better than that. So something we could do from here is kind of reorganize this a little bit. We want our user to be able to click on either this dev match here or the icon itself and be taken back to the home page. That's the ideal way to kind of do this. So think of this almost like our logo, this icon here. And this is our actual site name. And we should be able to click on either of them and come back to the home page. We can click on this and go to the about page. But right now, if I click on this, I can't get back home. I have to just click on this. So let's see how we can fix that. There's a special way we can do that here in Rails by kind of extrapolating this link to tag out like this. So watch what I do here. We still want this link to to go to the home page. That's why I'm putting root path. And then inside of here, I'm just going to keep this font awesome. I don't need this class name again, that would be putting it in there twice. Get rid of that line. And now all I need in here is just the text itself, dev match. And I'll close this Ruby code by doing this. Okay, so now we've got this HTML. This is pure HTML right here on lines 20 and 21. And it's wrapped inside of this Ruby tag here. And this is a link to with a do next to it, okay? And that's gonna allow us to nest HTML inside of a link to. So it's gonna wrap all of this stuff inside an anchor tag. Because if you recall, link to in, in Rails just gets converted into a, an HTML anchor tag, which looks like this. 
and it goes to whichever path we're setting, in this case the home path, and this gets translated, as we know with Rails, to the home path, which looks like that, the home page. So I'm going to cut all that out for now and just save it, and then go here and refresh. And there we go. Now I can click on this icon here or the name itself, and we're always going to end up at the home page by doing that. And so everything looks a little bit nicer now. And we've kind of got this logo here now working for us by adding this font awesome library. So we can add more fonts throughout and we can even use these special helpers right here. So I could technically use this instead. So for example, if we look at ours right here, we could technically put some Ruby code in here and say, Just copy this. And replace that with users. If I save that, we get the same effect there. So that's just as effective as what we had before, but I'm just gonna keep it the way it was before because this is kind of the more common way that you see people using Font Awesome in their web projects. And I want you to be comfortable with seeing those kinds of icon tags. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and save our work. I've got another console tab here, and we're still in the layouts impro layout improvements branch. So I'm going to go ahead and type git. I'm just going to click here first, or click next to it. Git status. And there we go. We've made quite a few changes here, right? We added that font awesome library, and then we added a, we added an icon to our actual uh, header or navigation header. So I'm going to go ahead and hit git add dot git commit dash m and we'll put a message here and we'll say added font awesome gem and logo to navbar. Okay, so then I'm going to hit enter and again we're just going to back this up to GitHub. So Again, I'm just reiterating all these steps over and over so that you get a feel for this workflow. So git push origin, and we'll just copy this branch name over here. And then hit enter. There we go. We just shipped a backup of our code to GitHub.